Okay, so this video is by Penguins, AKA Moist Critical, AKA Charlie. And it is called, I didn't want to talk about this. Now I'm wondering when I saw this video, I was like, did Charlie mess up? Did Charlie say something wrong in a video? What is going on? Okay. So let's find out. Coming after my baby Charlie. What is wrong with y'all? I mean it when I say I didn't really want to talk about today's topic. It's just some medium rare internet beef that I think is just kind of worthless to go over. But so many people keep bringing it up to me that I feel I should at least talk about it to some extent. So I'll go ahead and cannonball into the septic tank and doggy paddle around for a bit. The main topic involves a banned YouTube creator that I'm sure you've all heard of before. His name is Sneeko. A lot of people compared him to like a diet Andrew Tate. He recently got banned and he still does make content elsewhere. And recently he started targeting me because I made jokes about his friends on the Fresh and Fit podcast, whom I think are beautiful clowns that do some very silly stuff that is entirely entertaining to make fun of. But Sneeko didn't see it that way because he's a very sensitive guy and he started writing their wieners to try and defend a blatantly outrageous story that one of them told about meeting a basketball player at a party, then being invited by that basketball player to a mansion and then f***ing a ton of girls at that mansion. Yes, because Sneeko loves him some Fresh and Fit. Sneeko, lo uh, Sneeko loves those jerk-offs so much. It's ridiculous. Thanks to the basketball player, which sounds like something a Tumblr account would have made up and ending with, and everybody clapped. It was such a goofy piece of fan fiction, it felt like he was begging to be humiliated and made fun of, so... I started throwing some balls at the clown and dunking them in the tank. I made a video talking and joking about it, and Sneeko saw this, and he wasn't too happy, so he got offended on his friend's behalf, which of course is a very alpha male thing to do. I know Sneeko doesn't like that nomenclature. He never calls himself an alpha male and thinks that it belittles him, but his fan base is and has been red-pilled and thinks of him as like a no-nonsense kind of guy who tells it like it is, a man's man. And yet, Sneeko cries more than a 12-year-old going through puberty. Period. Sneeko is a big ass baby. Let's call it is what it is. Sneeko is a big ass baby. Did he put a warning on the video? Ruin Leon. He did not put a warning video a warning on his video. No, he didn't. Imagine that. He didn't. But Sneeko, big baby. Big baby. He whines like a toddler. And has very public temper tantrums like yep. a child who didn't get the Spider-Man toy they wanted for Christmas. Yep. So he was upset because I was making fun of them. He then makes a big rant about me, calling me a bitch, saying all kinds of things. He doesn't really make any points. He just insults my appearance a lot and makes very bold assumptions about me not going outside and shit like that. Which of course has nothing to do with anything I was saying, nor does it debunk any of my points. Not that I was even really making points, I was just making jokes about a silly f***ing story, and he's taking it as if I just gave a TED talk of monogamy. Because for some reason he somehow gets lost in like this Winter Soldier episode, like this delusional fantasy, where he starts making a, like a statement on monogamy. Which of course had nothing to do with the video I- Funny how he makes statements about monogamy when um, he's talking about I think he did change his stance on it, but he would talk about how men can basically have all the women they want. It's the women that needs to be monogamous. Because, you know. That's Sneeko for you. Made. I'm not going to say names. Someone texted me. He's in a monogamous relationship. This is a girl. So there you go. I, I mean, I told you, like, I could hear it in your voice. The fact that someone doesn't have to abide by those rules. Someone could go and f*** a lot of bitches. That it's so foreign to a lot of people's ideas. Because when you get brainwashed, when you get told. What was his point in showing Charlie's girlfriend? Leon, you're not wrong. I can't take advice from a man who admitted to being a cuck. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. He he literally did that. Literally. Yeah, exactly. Why are we showing people's girlfriends? Exactly. The hell? 
that monogamy is the answer. What the f*** are you even talking about? What does this have to do with anything? What does bringing up a picture of me and my girlfriend have anything to do with anything that has happened? And where is monogamy even coming from? You're fighting an invisible enemy right now. You're fighting ghosts that aren't real. Like, none of this had anything to do with the video itself of me joking about a stupid f***ing story that this guy told. Like, it's so weird, and he's been mad ever since, as I understand it. I, of course, don't really watch him, but I keep getting updates on Sneeko not being happy, wiggling his finger, saying, I don't really like this Charlie guy anymore for this. Now, like I said, because so many people keep bringing this up to me every day, I felt obligated to at least, you know, talk about this a little bit and engage with the drama, even though I don't really want to. What I do want to talk about, though, is the Black Friday Moist Global merch sale, baby. A lot of great... Of course, Charlie's gonna talk about his merch. Although I do like that hoodie, not gonna lie. I actually like that hoodie. It's only 35 bucks! Once all these are sold out, they won't be restocked, so if you're at all interested, go to moistglobal.com. The link's in the description. I'm gonna keep this on for the rest of the video. The only thing I'm missing now is a cigar, so really get into character here. I'm gonna go ahead and talk a little bit more about this. Uh, I am pretty familiar with Sneeko, probably more so than a lot of his more modern fan base is. I first became aware of his content when he got mad at me a couple years ago because I was criticizing a movie called Cuties. For those that don't know, Cuties was a movie that went to Netflix and it was basically just softcore child It was a movie that focused on twerking and a coming of age film that used real children in real positions of like sexualization where during like a twerking contest they'd have cameras that would go like right into their ass and zoom in. It was f disgusting stuff. And I made a whole video talking about how fucked up it is that not only does it exist, but Netflix has promoted it and it's on their service. Regardless of what the intention was or what the message aimed to deliver from the director, it completely missed the mark. By using real child actors and doing the things that they did in the film, it became a movie that was only enjoyed by legitimate, real, self-admitted p***s. And I made- Mr. Girl. Made a video talking about how gross that whole situation was, and Sneeko made a response to it saying that the outrage around this film is misplaced, and it's actually a good movie. Americans are like, this is deplorable. I saw this commentator, Penguin Zero, who I, I actually like, there's not a lot of good commentators, but he's like, this movie is, is deplorable, there's nothing good about it, there's nothing, and it's like he didn't even watch the movie, it's just like he only saw the clips that were gonna piss him off, or he just got so triggered by the provocative imagery that he just, de deplorable, come on man. Like, don't you see the reasons why she's doing what she's doing? Sneeko has said multiple times, even in his most recent rant, that he does like my content. Though I'm pretty sure he just says that to cushion the blow and, mm -hmm. like, tiptoe around it, like, before insulting me. Just in case- Just doing what Sneeko does. Just saying. If there's anyone in his chat that likes my content, he wants to make sure to not make them upset. So he makes sure to preface it by saying, well, I actually do like him, but, and then goes on to get super personal about it. This was my first real exposure to Sneeko, and it's also the reason I don't care what his opinion is of me, because it's coming from a man who likes cuties. So why the f*** would it matter if he thinks I'm a bitch or anything like that? It legitimately couldn't mean less coming from a guy who openly defends a softcore child f***ing production. Okay, if Ooh. I really wanted to get cancelled, uh, this is the video. I saw Cuties last night and it was it was pretty good. It's a pretty good movie. I went in ready to hate like everybody else. I, I saw the cover and it was I got clickbaited. So did you, you got clickbaited. The thing about Cuties is it's not an unrealistic film. Like, yes, it shows children in a sexual way, but this is not unusual now. And the people who are really mad about this aren't Gen Z. Now, the reason I'm showing this isn't just to debate a multiple-year-old Sneeko video that he completely ate shit on and had the worst possible take of with this whole cutie situation. The reason I'm showing this is because I haven't liked him since I saw this side of him. I, I was aware that he made other content, and apparently some of it was pretty good a couple years back, but once I saw this video, it just showed me a really weird guy who it seemed like really just wanted to be contrarian for the sake of it and makes terrible points in defense of this film for some reason like even in your own video you openly admit right there that yes it sexualizes children full stop that's not okay exactly and that is the point in which you stop right there oh sneeko is something else sneeko is ugh. exactly Catherine. exactly that's a problem. Like this girl, at one point she takes a picture of her vagina and posts it on Instagram. Kids naturally just rebel. I like this movie because it's extremely provocative, but it's realistic. A major criticism of this film was that it's child play, that they were just showing these kids and that it's gonna bring a bunch of in. I don't think so. I don't think so. Not more than anything else that's on the internet now, or not more than beauty pageants in America, which still exist and are exactly what you see in the film. Do you go to beauty pageants to watch the kids, Nico? 
I certainly hope not. Just because the beauty pageants, which are f***ed up, completely agree, just because those exist in the real world doesn't mean that that's justification for this movie. I feel like that should be obvious. You can't use this whataboutism like, oh yeah, Cuties has a lot of sexualization of children, but what about, you know, child beauty pageants? I mean, those are out there in the real world, so what's wrong with Cuties being on Netflix? I won't show you any more from this video, it's dog shit all across the board, but there is one more thing I'd like to highlight. Even when Sneeko started to rise to popularity, I didn't pay too much attention because, again, in my mind, he will always be that guy that for some reason fights for this film, which is just weird. So he's always just been kind of a weird person to me that I don't pay too much attention to, but I couldn't help but take notice of one of his more recent viral clips where he openly defends getting cucked. So, so I wanted to break this down, like, because this was... This is what Leon was talking about? No! No, Charlie! Oh, Charlie's being petty for bringing this up. Oh my god, Charlie is being petty. I love it. I love it. Imagine, see, imagine seeing the girl you love, like, get fucked. Get f Huh? Yeah, I do. I love it. Yeah, love her. I was about to say I love this bitch. I'm like, nah, let me not say that. I love my, my queen. Wifey, my queen. And Good you answer. allowed the love of your life we to get f by another man. What happened to the other three? Why, 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 why I'm crazy. The first time, as soon as I saw her, like three pumps in, I just got up and walked out. I'm just like, I can't, I can't do that. Like, feeling traumatic thoughts, like seeing her with another person. It's a lot. It's a lot. I th but I think it's something everybody should do just to test. No! I know. You know what? It is a legitimately super sad thing to sit there and listen to because Sneeko is very clearly bothered by that whole situation. Yeah. But he's trying to play it off like a deeper message like, no, this is actually a good thing. And in fact, I recommend every guy out there try letting their girl get f by another man. Then you'll know if it's real, if this is the person you want to spend the rest of your life with. It is f tragic to listen to. Now, I want to be clear, I have absolutely no problem with open relationships. I think everyone should be completely within the right to handle their relationships however they see fit and whatever makes them happiest. Contrary to what Sneeko thinks about me, I have legitimately no issue with open relationships at all. But what Sneeko's talking about here isn't so much an open relationship, it's cuckoldry. You have watched your girl get f***ed in front of you on at least two occasions yep. that he talks about here. And you were right next to her, watching her get f***ed, and one time you were so upset about it you had to leave the room after the third pump you said. You're clearly not really alright with this situation, you're for some reason forcing yourself to period be okay with it like i'm not trying to sit here and be an arm armchair psychologist like you try to do against me during your rant but it really seems like you don't like it and yet for some reason you're also trying to celebrate it and promote it like a good thing it's just super sad like if you're f***ing other girls and she's f***ing other guys that's one thing but you being in the same bed that she is f***ing another man in and watching her and then even talking about how like upset you were about how much she was moaning and the deep eye contact she was making with the man she was f in front of you like you're you're not really okay with it it sounds like so stop trying to pretend to be and stop trying to make it seem like this is a good healthy thing for everyone that everyone needs to try period it's just pretty sad so this is always in the back of my mind when he starts critiquing my relationship or really any relationship for that matter like what really gives you the right especially when you're clearly in a very complicated situation in your own mind with i think he's back with her now too i think he's back with her now because he went out to dinner with destiny and i think that was her that was with him your relationship so uh, i like i said i didn't really want to talk about this but he apparently keeps shitting on me and and making a big hoopla about it and people keep bringing it up to me so i felt like i should at least address it in some capacity so this is me talking about it and that's about it so yeah period Two.